and thanks for joining us on Tech 24. I'm Julia Seeger. Coming up in this edition, we'll talk about drone interception systems after several mystery drone sightings were spotted in Paris. And skiing for geeks, we tell you all about the latest technology to hit the slopes. French authorities have been left puzzled by a string of drone sightings over Paris. One of them was spotted in the skies above the U.S. Embassy. Others were seen over the Eiffel Tower and the Place de la Concorde. France has already faced dozens of drone flyovers in recent months, including over sensitive areas like nuclear plants, military installations, and even the presidential palace. Nicholas Rushworth reports. Mystery drones. Last year, more than a dozen flights were reported over high-security nuclear power plants in France. Other incidents have included a drone sighting over the presidential palace last month. And now, key Paris sites, including the U.S. Embassy, have been targeted. One man sleeping on a park bench nearby says he saw the drone. I saw it come from this direction here. It looks like a plane, a helicopter, flying from this direction to over there. The drone flight over the U.S. Embassy was followed by a spate of sightings in central Paris. Police deployed in full amid ongoing high security following January's Charlie Hebdo attacks. Such flights are unlicensed and therefore illegal. Offenders face a hefty fine, even a jail sentence. People do not have the right to use a drone in densely populated areas, certainly not in Paris, except with rare permission. They are banned outright. An inquiry is underway. The French government will announce measures on how to improve drone detection early next month, all the while saying there's no cause for alarm. One expert says there's no immediate drone threat. They weigh between 500 grams and a kilo and carry a few hundred grams maximum. They can be used to film what's below but cannot carry dangerous material. The French army monitors airspace around the clock so it can respond to any threat instantly. These screens show air traffic in real time. However, drones are too small and fly too low, and so are off radar, making interception a real challenge. And in the wake of these mystery overflights, officials have asked scientists to devise ways to counter drones and detect their remote control pilots. One of France's latest weapons against malicious consumer drones is, well, another drone. But this time it has a net attached to it to take it down. Let's now welcome Dan J. Cattlecar for more on this. Dan, the drone interceptor MPI-200 that we have here on set by French startup Malutech can seem like an old-fashioned solution, but it actually works pretty well to take down drones flying over highly populated cities. Absolutely, Julia. It looks a very primitive solution of dropping down a net to catch a drone, but it's very efficient. You know, one of the key reasons why it's so important to have a solution like this is because Normally, when you spot a drone and when you take it down, you can say, oh, I'll use laser or I'll use a sniper. But what about public safety? Because in densely populated areas, the drone cannot just drop down on the streets. You know, people might get injured. So this looks primitive, but it's very efficient because the net can actually catch a drone and it can bring it to a predestined location or it can just drop it down if there's an empty place underneath. Uh, we tested this drone earlier on our show and it's, it's fascinating to see how uh, the drone is able to deploy the one meter by two meter net. Uh, the drone itself has quite impressive features. It can uh, go to an altitude, maximum altitude of three kilometers. It has a perimeter, the range of perimeter is 80 kilometers and a battery life of uh, 45 minutes. Uh, plus, as you can see, it has six rotors, so it is quite powerful. Uh, this drone's speed is 110 kilometers per hour, so it's quite faster than the commercially available drones. So that's what gives it the legs, the advantage to catch the rogue drones. And it actually looks bigger than commercial drones. Is it easy to use? Yeah, it's quite easy to use. I mean, there's a joystick. It works on ultra high frequency as well as radio frequency. You can control it using a joystick, but there's an option of controlling it uh, on iPad as well. So yeah, it's quite easy to use and it's quite impressive given its size. It's, quite, it's so easy to use and you can use Oculus Rift as well to uh, monitor and control the drone. And if some of you watching want a device to protect your privacy, uh, there's the drone shield. It detects and alerts you of drones 
flying around your house, for instance. That's right. Uh, drone Shield is a very unique system because it's it's primarily meant for uh, drones which carry out personal surveillance, so the low-flying drones. So what it does is it, it uses the so-called acoustic uh, detection technique. So what it means is that uh, the system already has a database of uh, acoustic uh, drone signatures. So tallying with those database, you can, or the system uh, tells you or alerts you what kind of drone is flying overhead. Uh, it not only does that, it tells you the location, it tells you the altitude, and it tells you the, the it gives you the audio as well of the drone. So yeah, it's an interesting solution for, but it's very localized. You cannot stretch it beyond a certain altitude, but for pri uh, private surveillance, yeah, it could be effective. And what about on the military front? There are more heavy duty types of anti-drone technologies. The US military, for instance, has developed a laser that can take down drones, shoot them down. Yeah, that's true. Uh, till now we are talking about uh, interceptors or technologies to counter civilian drones. But the military drones are on a different scale altogether because, as you mentioned, uh, the U.S. Uh, corporation Boeing has developed a laser, a laser cannon, which can shoot drones. Uh, another company, Raytheon, has also developed a similar laser. Then there are Ch then is the Chinese government, the Chinese military, which has developed a laser which can take down drones which flow below an altitude of 1,600 feet and whose speed is less than 110 kilometers per hour. Well, thanks for that, Dan. Winter sports enthusiasts are using increased.